I think what we're developing here is very unique and you won't find anywhere else. Just uh, the creation of the clinical pharmacy enterprise is something very unique that no one in South Florida has. It's a forward-thinking organization that has invested in creating a pharmacy corporate division that will help integrate pharmacy services as a key major strategy throughout the organization. The clinical enterprise comprises not only of the inpatient hospital pharmacy, but also the transition of care into an ambulatory branch that is brand new to Baptist Health. The vision for the clinical pharmacy enterprise is really to have pharmacists and pharmacy techs practice at the top of their license. The pharmacists play a critical role making sure the patients understand how to safely take these medications and they also play a role monitoring those patients to ensure they can tolerate the treatments appropriately. For me, it is creating clinical ladders for our pharmacists and building new uh, non-traditional roles for the pharmacy. The growth and the expansion of, uh, of pharmacy and pharmacy services will lead to the fact that we will need a lot of these high caliber roles to be able to integrate into what we're trying to accomplish. There's opportunities for pharmacists with various skill sets. Uh, no matter what a pharmacist is interested in doing, there's the opportunity to do it here within Baptist Health South Florida. And uh, we're poised uh, across South Florida to be able to uh, grow and mold as a, a person's professional and personal life grow and evolve. You'll find that we're gonna make sure that our pharmacists are gonna practice at the top of their licenses put them out in patient care, get them away from the dispensing um, activities, or that would be more of a minimal role, and get them out on the floors interacting with practitioners, doing rounds, precepting students and residents, and put them through the staff development that they deserve and need to be the best that they can be. With experience and credentials, the pharmacists now have a clear path towards uh, their transitions in their career all the way from a staff pharmacist to a clinical pharmacist to a specialist one or a specialist two uh, to administrative roles like being a clinical coordinator or a clinical manager. Just like we're developing a clinical career ladder, we're developing one for the technicians and pharmacists in this non-clinical perspective. And so once you've reached the uh, tech three or the epitome of the technician ladder that they're creating, then you'll transition over to my team. And from there, you could be a pharmacy reimbursement specialist, which would be a technician role, special pharmacy programs coordinator, 340B analyst, all the way up through our management level positions that typically, but not necessarily all of the time, require you to be a pharmacist. From Monroe County all the way to you know West Palm Beach, um, the growth in just pharmacy is going to be very big. The continuous uh, integration of that service is going to be uh, uh, wonderful in the sense that there will be a lot of great um, opportunities for pharmacists and technicians who want to come on board with an exceptional organization that's always forward thinking.